Hey guys, that's Lana. Hi, I'm Lydia. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, what's up in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot what our channel was called. No, it's called What's Up in Canada. Uh, we are going to distillery district today. It's an old district in downtown Toronto and um, it's a part of historic heritage. Uh, so hope you'll enjoy our trip. Yeah, they have beautiful quality decorations. So let's go and see. So we've arrived in distillery district. Yeah, here we go. The entrance is free today because it's not four o'clock yet. If you come after 4 p.m. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, you have to pay not a big fee, just $8. Uh, and obviously, yeah, you have to be double vaccinated and show your ID and yeah, you're free to go. So it's very nice. That's just like a cute, photo zone with the stars and hearts and here you can see that the area is pretty old you can see the the cobble pavement and just the bricks of the buildings um, those are condos so I guess people are very lucky to live here just in the heart of the downtown in either the lucky old or not very lucky because if we take a look they have uh, balconies. some balconies and some patio furniture so i guess when you want to drink coffee on uh, this kind of balcony you have to always think um and to be dressed appro to, <laughs> <laughs> to be appropriately, dressed appropriately because uh, you know like I've, there are lots of people here taking pictures taking videos you don't want to <laughs> get into anyone's picture in your underwear or something like that so always you have to always have to be on top of your game and think uh, what you look like so and it can get no noisy here as well because uh, uh, obviously there are lots of people lots of businesses uh, so that might be a concern uh, but most of the population here uh, demographically speaking the most of the people who live here are either single people or young couples uh, so I guess um, they would like this lifestyle, so it's okay. Let's take a look at this installation of a spider. It's a spider, yeah. You can see an eye and the similar spider is in Ottawa City. We went in summer there. It's like way much bigger there, but um, we've read a story that there are a few of them in, in Canada. So basically that's our second one. We found it here in Toronto. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of cool like art boutiques with the pottery, pictures, paintings, handmade crafts, uh, jewelry, a lot of nice stuff, a lot of snacks. Oh, something's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, okay, we will tell you <laughs> later. Let's come and see what, what's, what's yeah. happening there. Oh, let's see. Something for the kids, probably. This draw, I can join. Now, yes, Angela was not an angel anymore. Oh, it's a reading for the kids. Yeah. The monster of Christmas Joe. It's nice. Here a little bit. Yeah. See. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Scream the monster of Christmas Joe. My roars, furious and loud, are my Christmas present to everyone. Roar! Can you give me a roar? Roar! <laughs> oh, there is no scary Christmas present that you tried for both. Oh, okay, moving on. Uh, Distillery District is a um, place uh, uh, in the east of uh, downtown Toronto. Um, it, it's full of commercial buildings and a couple of condos. Uh, it includes um, over 40 uh, buildings uh, that are historical and part of historical and cultural heritage. It also includes uh, 10 streets and uh, you can find the, uh, the highest uh, number of uh, um, industrial buildings that were built in uh, Victorian style uh, in North America. So that's uh, very interesting because we know that North America, US and especially Canada, uh, it's part of New World. So there are not that many cultural uh, 
buildings or places that are very old. Uh, so this is part of uh, of something that's a bit older. Let's so go and have a look at Santa. Yes. Ah, Santa. Santa has elves. Yeah. Did you put elves on the shelves this year at home? No, no elves on the shelves. Because you have to move them all the time and then I'm kind of like, you know, I don't want to forget because you forget and then elf gets uh, upset with you. So I'm just going to let it go this year. No elves on the shelves for me. Okay, beautiful else. Let's go. Let's go. So the reason it's called the distillery district actually because there used to be huge distillery here, uh, and they were producing at one point um, up to uh, two million gallons of uh, whiskey for export. Um, now we have a small distillery here, uh, but and uh, the old distillery is turned into art space and uh, into like small shops and uh, people's offices uh, mostly people who are in art world yeah art studios they have yeah. a lot of a lot of small spaces painters here. people who knit who do pottery who like uh, make like pies because if we see there there's we have to stop by here oh <laughs> my god yeah that's pie it's who gonna make come pastries, to my home today. all kinds of food it smells delicious. It, it smells amazing. I want this big gift for Christmas. <laughs> and there, I guess, they're making some mule wine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the end of the street and see what else is happening there. So for distillery, the geographical location of this place was very good because on one side we have Don River. Uh, and uh, um, it takes you to Lake Ontario on, and on the, the other side uh, there is a um, rail, uh, railway so it was easy to transport whatever alcohol they made. <laughs> with with the, the industrialization in um, uh, late 20th century everything was kind of um, uh, the, the big brewery ceased to exist and it was closed, nothing was happening. Uh, but uh, because of those Victorian buildings, um, this was... Um, Canadian government decided for this to be a heritage site, so nothing was ruined. And uh, the private company took over uh, and started managing this place uh, in... Uh, uh, 2001 I believe and then they uh, they did some work here from 2001 to 2003 uh, some kind of reconstruction and um, what we know now is distillery district opened I was gonna say that that was that was a nice and like you know like flourishing time for Canadians history of alcohol production because at the same time in the US they had the, uh, that 18th Amendment, right? That that was banning the alcohol, right? The prohibition. So, yeah. and they were smuggling alcohol actually from Canada. So, yeah. Canada was making huge profit from and that. And they were coming to Canada for weekends and uh, you know just to celebrate. Remember, even in Casaloma they came. Oh yeah! And, oh yeah, yeah! They were coming, stay staying at Canadian hotels and, and partying here yeah. and partying. Who now, would have thought? Now it's the other way around. Yeah. Like if <laughs> you want a party, that's like you have to go to, to the US. That's what I wanted to say. So Distillery District is the place uh, where uh, they shoot movies. There were like eight, over 800 movies shot here. Um, and uh, the Christmas market um, opened up in 2010. And every year they have a Santa Christmas tree and all kinds of things related to Christmas and Christmas markets. There are lots of uh, galleries here, theaters. Um, George Brown College has actually um, the like the part of the building where they have their uh, theater department. Oh wow, like that's drama or to know. something. Yes, I didn't know that. 
It looks very nice uh, during summertime and uh, during winter. All the time they are updating their installations. It's very Instagram friendly place. So people who Which want way to... Which we go? Left, right? Right, okay, left. I'm bad at directions. We're going to take a look uh, to the right because um, we want to show you how brave Canadian people are. It's very cold outside and um, there is patio. And Winter patio is yes. open. And uh, people are sitting, drinking, enjoying. Um, no one seems to be cold. Of course, they have those uh, special lights Heaters. that yeah that emit yeah all light and heat as well. But still, you know, it's a bit windy and. Um, I cannot imagine sitting outside and enjoying my meal in this weather. I would rather sit inside. But you see, brave, brave Canadian people. Yeah, that's true. Here they have honey, jam, tea. That's a cute small shop. Drink of the gods. What, Ooh, is, that? what is that? I wonder. Chocolate? Hot chocolate. Milk chocolate? <laughs> A hot chocolate, okay. Drink of the god, yeah. You're getting the game. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh wow, what an interesting installation. Beautiful. It's made of rocks? Can we? Yeah. Let's come closer so maybe just to we show. We can see the big picture, yeah. Let's yeah. just. Um, we have heart and love. You know how it's a tradition like everywhere in the world like people write their names and put those locks on the bridges like just want to come closer and see Yeah, you can you can read the names of people the, the initials Had we known this we could have put like what's up in Canada <laughs> and left it here I'm not sure if oh, it's yeah, actually it's, allowed it's to It's never too late. I don't know. I think it is. I, I think yeah, no one would say anything There is it's not, not like there is some kind of security guard or anything here so next time when we come next time we're here we should get a lock I actually have one at home we don't need it so I can <laughs> bring it jerk chicken for chicken lovers hot donuts place you should just guys imagine the smell of this place it's really really good Okay, that's a tacos place. Yummy candles countdown. Tells us that 13 days are left. Christmas is coming soon. Okay, at this intersection, shall we go left or right? I just want to go like here and show a little bit what's inside oh, those, those little, little pots yeah I'm, i mean like let's try to get as close as possible oh i see the lady with poutine yum you want a poutine i want <laughs> just anything i feel hungry already <laughs> i guess like no those are candles here are the socks Those are beautiful decorations. Very cute. Okay, let's go because people are actually buying something. <laughs> let's keep social distance since still COVID time. Yeah, I guess we have to turn around because that's actually the end. So every corner here is a photo opportunity. If you're someone who's into taking yeah, pictures of buildings, of uh, it's uh, yeah, it's beautiful here. So that that's I guess that's the, the dead end, right? Like I mean, you you can. There's just a restaurant here, mm -hmm. another restaurant. And that's it. Okay, let's walk on the other side and. That's the Christmas tree we showed you. So we walked around. It's a small area, you can see. Small 
small but very cute. A lot of hidden places, a lot of narrow streets. Every time you come here, you will find something new. And they are changing, I guess, like the, the you know... Yeah, the installations, yeah, they are updated from time to time. And there's always, you can find the updates on their... Uh, they have page on Facebook and on Instagram, and they announce... Uh, you want to go inside and show this candle space? Let's sure. It looks like it's a big one, I guess. We can ask if they, we can make the video here. If there is someone at the door. Thank you. you. Okay, let's go. We will show you the souvenirs. It's beautiful. Beautiful. If you if you're looking let's for some look decoration so for the yeah. house. So this is fifteen dollars. I guess it's like candle. A holder. It's just a holder. Yeah, just a cup. Yeah. Same here. Take a look at this beauty. You just open it. You put a candle here. Let's we'll take a look. And this, how much is this? They have a tag at the back. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty dollars. It's always good to 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 see how beautiful something looks, but also to know the price. So I guess this is like holiday poopery and stuff. Let's take a look. I don't see the price here. But everything smells so good. The smell is so amazing, yeah. It's just like all organic pine and, and everything, yeah. Let's see these candle holders. $22. They're made of like stone or something like that. Oh, it looks like wooden to me. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. That's why I tried and it's not. And this beautiful star. Huh? I don't see the price, but it looks this was, cute. Uh, this one is not heavy, right? Like no, no, very, very light. And this kind of installation, $69. It looks very pretty. Fancy. Yes. Buy two, get one free. Ooh, these are candles as well. Oh, they smell like oh 36 dollars each they smell like vanilla like vanilla i don't know do they say the scent okay let's have a look on this side Candles are always nice. And see, you can build your own box. So you have a. They probably give you the price for the box, and uh, and then uh, you can. Oh, let me show. So this is the box, uh -huh. and then you fill it with candles, and then there's the price. For yeah, that. you can mix and match different scents and flavors. That's cool. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's see and have a look what's in those small bottles. Looks like a magic potion. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the soaps. That's very beautiful. I like the the shape of those, so mm -hmm. tall and nice. But the thing is that uh, they are very hard to like. Once they get to half, it's very hard oh, yeah, to light them. True. So you have to buy those uh, long special matches. If you don't have those, you're in trouble. Because I have one of these, and uh, I have to get the matches. Do you think they like? Oh, they sell matches here, but the short ones. So cute. 
Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, here we go. Take a look. So these are the matches I was talking about, like yeah. tall, tall, big matches. So you gotta, if you're grabbing candle like that, you might want to grab <laughs> those matches. That's true. So which way where are we going? Right, left, straight, straight, okay. Ah, cute. So cute. Christmas tree, okay. Let's walk here. That's all for today. We hope that you've enjoyed our video and happy holidays. Bye guys. Merry Christmas. Bye.